The next two pieces that we're going to do are the other half of the sea and sky uh, sort of motto that we're going with. On, listed on the program are three pieces. We're actually taking one out this evening for the sake of time. It's already going to be quite a long concert. But we're going to do um, Singing Aboard Ship, followed by the Seal Lullaby. And I thought I'd give a little background on um, especially Singing Aboard Ship. It's another Estonian composer. His name is Velio Tormis. And he writes in a tradition that many people, um, it, it harkens back to the ancient epics of the Finnish and Estonian people. So if any of you have heard of the Kalevala, uh, which is the, the Finnish national epic, um, it's very similar in that, um, much like Beowulf, we believe that those things were actually sung to help them be memorized. And so you'll hear a similarity, the altos, um, if you, if you look at the translation of the text, the text is about the women of a village watching the men sail off to war and the sort of um, feelings that come along with that. But if you hear the melody, it's extremely repetitive and it's always in the alto line. Um, again, mimicking that style of a repeated epic poem. Followed by that, we're gonna do the seal lullaby uh, written by American composer Eric Whitaker. And the text is actually from a Rudyard Kipling story, uh, the same author uh, as The Jungle Book. This is from a, uh, a children's story called The White Seal. Um, it actually has a lot of um, Christian, uh, not, right, not quite ties, but you can see a lot of similarities between many uh, stories in Christianity to the, the story of the White Seal. So here's our set about water. Oh. 